Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video shows you how you can play your own videos from a USB thumb drive or a USB external hard drive straight onto your Fire TV stick. Now, you do need a Fire TV stick with OS 7 or above installed on it. You can do this if you've got OS 6, but it is tricky. You do need to insert some terminal commands. So to try and keep things simple, I'm gonna show you on a relatively new Fire TV stick, that is the 4K Max. I think the Fire TV Stick Lite and the Fire TV Stick and the Fire TV Stick 4K Max are the only systems that do have OS 7. And if you want to check to see what OS you've got, then just grab your remote control, press and hold the picture of the house until this menu appears. Go across to settings, middle button, and then go down to my Fire TV, middle button, Make sure that about is highlighted, middle button, and just here it will tell you the OS that you've got. As you can see, mine is 7.2.55. So you need to have Fire OS 7 or above to do this. So the next thing you need is you do need an OTG cable. That's one of these that's shown on the screen right now. You can get them from Amazon for a couple of quid, and that just basically plugs in line on your power cable and your Fire TV stick and it has a USB socket on it that you can plug a thumb drive or an external hard drive into. Now, you need to ensure that your thumb drive is formatted to FAT32 and also the external hard drive if you're using one of those, that's also formatted to FAT32. Now, most external devices are formatted to FAT32 when they come out of the factory anyway. And I must say there is also a size limit of two terabytes. So if you've got a drive that's larger than two terabytes, unfortunately you won't be able to use this. So if you wanna know how to format your device to FAT32, then see my video on how to do this. There's a link to it up in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. I must warn you though, it will wipe anything off of the drive when you format it. So uh, please make sure there's nothing important on there. Once we've done all of that, we've got our OTG cable, we've got our pen drive or thumb drive or external hard drive. It's less than two terabytes or two terabytes or less and formatted to FAT32. What we can do is we can then plug the hard drive or the thumb drive into the OTG cable, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so once we've done that, we need to check that it's connected. So grab your remote control again, press and hold the picture of the house until this menu appears. Go across to settings, middle button, go down to My Fire TV, middle button, go to about, middle button, go down to storage, and there you'll see external space. There'll be something in external space, and it tells you what you've got available in there. If Basically, it says that it's not connected there, then there's something wrong with your setup. So check that your drive is formatted to FAT32, check that it's two terabytes or less, and check that it's firmly connected to your OTG cable, and your OTG cable is connected firmly at either end to the lead and the Fire TV stick. So next thing we need to do is grab the remote control, press the picture of the house, okay, and then go across to Find, and then down to Search, middle button, and then we just need to type on here VLC. So let's just do that, VLC. Once we see VLC come up there, just go down to it, highlight it in white, middle button, and this is the icon we're looking for here, the orange and white traffic cone. With that highlighted, middle button. Okay, now if we've already got it on the system, this will say open here, or uh, if we haven't got it, it'll either say download or get. So press the middle button again, and there we go. It'll either open if we've got it here, or in my case, I haven't got it, so it will start to download. Now, if it's downloading, it might take a bit of time. This really depends on the speed of your internet connection, so just be patient. And there we go. Mine now says open, so I'm just gonna press the middle button, and there we go. So it says at the bottom of the screen the first time we run it, allow VLC to access photos, media, and files on your device. This is very important that this is set to allow. So make sure that allow is highlighted. Middle button on the remote, and there we go. So it comes up new external storage detected. 
do you want VLC to add device? And this is the name of my device to your media library. So yeah, we'll say yes to that. So make sure that yes is highlighted in white, middle button. And then what it will do is it will search the external hard drive or the thumb drive for any videos or music. And hopefully after a few minutes, it should there you go start adding them. And as you can see here, we've got videos here, all videos. If I go across to all videos, middle button, and there you go. Here's all the episodes come up of Gavin and Stacey that I've got on my external hard drive. And I've also got a series called Great Barrier Reef. And if I want to, I can just highlight any one of those and start playing it. So I've just highlighted Great Barrier Reef. Now, unfortunately, I've had to blur this out because I don't have the rights to play it. But as you can see, it's playing immediately from the hard drive. So there you go. That's a great little guide on how to play your own videos that you've got on a external hard drive or a thumb drive. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might want to see this video, then share it on your social media timelines. And make sure that you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.